Hey beauty bosses, welcome back to my channel. This is Felita. So happy that you joined me again. In today's video, I want to show you how to service your customers and help them to find makeup colors. You know, we are approaching the holiday season and many people will be going to like holiday parties and holiday gatherings and sometimes people just want to uh, spruce things up and they want to change their look they want to create a new look and they want to look good for the party and many times they'll go out and they'll buy the outfit but they don't have the cosmetics or the color to create that complete full look well, let me remind you that your website has everything that you need on it. We are the only company that I personally know of have a color tool to help our customers be able to find the perfect match when it comes to makeup colors or cosmetic colors. Okay, so all you need to do is just keep in mind that your website is the base station for everything that you need. It's the base station for your digital brochure. It's the base station for your makeover tool. It is the base station for when people want to join your team. It is the base station when people want to join live and they want to do live shopping everything that you need is right on your personal website so get in the habit of sharing your website link with everybody so with all of that being said let's say that you have a customer who is getting ready to go to an event okay uh, we are approaching the holiday season right now and so a lot of people may be going to Christmas parties and um, they have probably gone out purchased the outfit that they're going to wear um, and they want a complete makeover and if you know or if you just kind of have a conversation with one of your customers and she tells you that she has an event uh, that she's getting ready to go to you ask her oh okay well have you already purchased your outfit I can help you selecting your makeup colors if you want to have um, a complete makeover okay so I want to show you how to do that and how to service your customers okay all right so the first thing you want to do is go to your website so if my website is www.yorivon.com forward slash F Natalie okay that's the first thing you want to do because again when customers get ready to order from you they'll already be on your website and they can go ahead and place the order with you one of the best ways to do this is to schedule like a zoom call to help your customer because a lot of times they really don't know what to even select and what to even choose so you can actually um, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one consultation with your customers to help them select makeup shades um, to build your orders and to build your business as well so zoom you can get a free zoom account I believe the first on the free account the first 45 minutes is free you don't have to pay you can schedule the time to do that with your customers or you can just post it on your social media page that you're offering um, you know complimentary makeovers okay and um, schedule this and go over it with your customers and help them select these customers I mean I'm sorry help them to select their makeup custom uh, makeup colors that would be appropriate for their skin tone okay so I want to show you how to do that in this video okay so once you go to your website you can see here once I typed in my website information it automatically redirected over to um, avon.com rep F. Danley, okay so the first thing you want to do is go right here where it says shop okay you go to shop and if you're doing a makeover consultation then you just want to select makeup because the customer has decided that she wants to do uh, she wants a complete makeover so now let's say for instance this customer wants to choose a foundation color okay so we're gonna go right here where it says foundation and 
if depending on the color tone you can see here that these are all of the different shades that you can choose from well when customers see all of these colors it's very very hard to choose and match foundation colors just by looking at colors here online because many times they are not true to the color and many times people are reluctant to buying because they um they are reluctant to buying because they don't know what colors to choose from so by using this color tool it will help you to be able to select the appropriate colors for your customers okay all right so let's go ahead and choose a uh, select a shade okay and what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom of the page to one that I believe may be closest to my skin tone. So I'm going to choose hazelnut. Okay. All right. Now, right here at the bottom, you'll see where it says try it on. And all you have to do is click on try it on. Okay. And once it actually populates, your customer can actually upload you can actually take a picture and upload your customer's photo it's best to do this without any type of makeup on so you can ask your customer to make sure that she removes all of her makeup that she's currently wearing so that you can start with a bare face and that way you'll be able to find true to life colors that would be um, the appropriate shades for her okay so you can select here upload a photo if you have a particular photo just go in and just find the photo I am not going to use a photo in this video I'm going to choose a model okay we used to be able to um, do use a live cam we used to be able to use the webcam but i see here that avon has done away with the webcam so you can't actually do it live anymore but there are models here which you can choose depending on your customer skin tone um that you can you you can choose to um do the selections on okay so i am going to choose this um lady right here since she is a little bit closer to my skin tone and let's go with um i think the color i said i was going to try was hazelnut and let's see if this is the color here i believe it is let's see here no that's java so if you click on it you can see how her tone changed a little bit that's almost a perfect color for her that java so let's click on this one right here this one is pecan and the pecan actually looks good as well it looks very natural now let's click on this one you can see how dark this probably changed her so now this this clove color would probably be a shade that she would probably use like in the summertime because most of us our skin tone changes in the summertime in the wintertime because in the summertime we're out more and we're more exposed to the sun so therefore um, you may need a different foundation color in the summertime than you will in the wintertime so you know you can see the difference in her skin tone you can see how dark her face looked as opposed to her chest area here okay so i believe the best color and you can see how that one actually lightened up her face that one was hazelnut and that one actually looks like a perfect color as well um so we know that we can narrow it down to three different shades that she would probably use so it would probably be between hazelnut cognac cognac looks a little light to me or java java almost looks um uh, almost like the perfect color for her now um we also have 
foundation samples that you can order and also um, give to your customers and let them try it on with the actual shades that will work for you as well so let's say for instance she decided she wanted to go with Java so we're just gonna click on Java okay and then what we're going to do is um, we'll just heart it here because we know that that's one of um, one of our one of our favorite colors there so we'll go here and we'll find Java let's see here there it is right there okay and what we will do is select add to bag okay and therefore you don't have to write down anything because it's already there for you okay so we have found her um her foundation color so we're going to go back again to shop we're going to move down to makeup here and we are going to go to the um eyeshadow quads this here is a really good deal here let's see if we could actually use that i don't know if it will allow us to try it on it won't allow us to try it on i think it's because this one is not a regular line item so it won't allow us to to try the shades on there so you pretty much kind of have to kind of just wing it with that particular one but in the regular line items such as the fmg um, glimmer shadow squad quads those you can try on okay so this one here um, I'm not sure what shade this is but if you go right here to select the shade um, let me see the one that's temp temptress let's see if we could um, try it on I don't know why only one shade this shade is different I am not sure why that particular one is coming up. Maybe it's because of that particular name there. But once you click on try it on, again, you can choose a model or either upload a photo. So let's let's try it on this particular customer here. Okay. So what we could do is move over here to the shades and choose a color. Okay. So if we choose temptress let's see what temptress actually looked like you can see how it changed her colors here okay so it depends on the customer if she likes that look and it goes well the color goes well with what her outfit is then that would be something bold to give her like a a nighttime look so you know daytime look some people may not want to be as bold with the colors during the daytime let's select another one that particular one was temptress right there this one is called darling you can see how darling is more of her natural skin skin tone and that blends very well this is more of a daytime look let's choose another one here this one is called vixen and you can see vixen is more of a nighttime look so depending on if your customer wants something like for everyday wear to wear to work then she wants to choose more natural colors and then again some people it just depends on you know the individual some people don't even mind wearing the bolder colors um, during the daytime but the majority of most people generally want something natural to wear to work if they decide to wear um, shadows to work anyway okay and we can try one more here and you can see how pretty that is on her her eyes there that one is called muse okay so depending on what shade your customer chooses all you have to do is select that color and let's see if we can add it to the bag I think we okay now it says add it to the shopping bag so all you have to do is click right here on this little bag symbol and it automatically adds the color to the bag now if you want to try some more of the long wearing gel shadows this will give you an opportunity to kind of try it on here as well so let's try dragonfly Ooh, isn't that a beautiful bold green you see how that looks that's really pretty let's try this color here this is jellyfish that one looked very similar to the one that we had tried on previously and this one is more of a natural look um, it looks a little bit washed out for me but it definitely goes with 
her outfit color. So there's another one as well. And then this one, that's really pretty. That's really more of a natural color for her. Okay, so if she decided that she wanted to go with bronze butterfly, all you have to do is click right here and it will automatically add it to the shopping bag. Okay, now let's go to the blush. Okay, we got to add blush to the colors. Let's see here. We may have to close this out and let's go back to the shop area and go back to the makeup here. And let's find the, now customers also have a choice to choose the compact powder. So if, um, you know, the customer wanted to add a powder, then you do the same thing. You just go in here and find the shade and match it up just like I did earlier. You definitely want to add um, your eyeliner. That is a big seller. So you want to make sure you add the eyeliner. Okay, so we want to try this one on and see how this one actually looks as well. So we're going to go back and choose the same model that we were working with before. Okay, so let's try this emerald green and let's see what emerald green looks like. That really brings her eyes out. You see that? see that emerald green and let's try this starry night and let's see what that one looks like and that's pretty as well and let's see what the black looks like black is black and you can see how bold that looks that gives her more of the cat eye look and let's see what the natural color looks the cosmic brown yeah that one is very very natural so that's more of a daytime look and let's look at this majestic plum plum looks very similar to the black um, but of course, that depends on your skin tone because I know the majestic plum on me, on my skin tone, definitely doesn't look like that. It looks very washed out. And I generally have to use like an additional color, like a starry night or something like that to help bring it out. Okay. So there you go with that one. Now let's try some lipsticks. Let's go back over here to shop and let's go to makeup here. And um, let's see here. Let's go. If you wanted to add brows, be sure to add your brows on there as well. We need to do the lipsticks and make sure you add mascara. So when you look at, you know, uh, when you look at the actual, um, let's go to lips here. When you look at a complete makeover, um, when you look at the foundation, the foundation average cost is like $24. Lipstick average cost is about $9. Um, glimmer stick cost is generally about $4. When you look at the blush cost, you can easily come up with a $60 order or more and have it shipped directly to your customer. So this is going to require you to do more one-on-one -on -one consul personal consultation with her, but you can do it right from your home. You don't have to waste any gas going to her. You can build this order right here online. As a matter of fact, it's, it's just giving me so many ideas right now on how I can actually build my um, customers and get more of my customers using these colors the the makeup colors as well so let's choose the um let's choose some of the lipsticks let's find some lipstick shades okay so let's go to try it on and again if you already have a, a color photo of your customer just click upload a photo or just choose a model i'm gonna go with this lady here she has a very pretty skin tone okay so let's try some shades on this lady here and let's see what the shades are going to look like so let's choose this color right here this is called thunderbird Ooh, that is beautiful look at thunderbird on her i actually have thunderbird um let's see here yeah thunderbird looks more of like a deep brown um like a deep brown um orange color if you can see that um it's really pretty so depending on you know the actual shade and what your customer wants that's a beautiful color 
Now, one of my favorite color one colors, ooh, look at that blaze. Oh my God, this, this lady here, she just, she looks so pretty in all of these different shades. So you can see how using this tool is going to keep you from um, ordering products and have to keep sending them back. Just take the time to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with your customers and help them to select these products these these shades so so that you can eliminate all of the returns and they can feel more confident with their purchases and you can always back it up with you know our 30-day money-back guarantee as well let's choose another shade fireboat now i absolutely love fireboat i have fireboat right here and let's see here um as a matter of fact i um tried on fireboat and i was just oh my god i was like oh this is so beautiful that is hibiscus i know that i have fireboat here on my desk because i have a lot of a lot of sample shades here and i do encourage you to order the sample shades because that when you start giving out samples to let your customers try before they buy, always ask them what colors work best for them or what colors do they normally wear, which will give you an idea of what shades that you can give them as samples. Okay, so let's try like this color right here. This is Wildflower. Oh, look at that. I don't think this model here can, we can choose, there's no bad color for this model because she looks pretty in all of these shades. So let's try this one here. This is Equinox. So that gives her more of a natural look. Okay. All right. So let's try this one here. And this one is Constellation. That's a pretty color as well. And let's look at this one here. This is Nova. Ooh, that is bold. That is rich. So that is more of a nighttime color. Okay. And let's look at this one more. And look at that one. I, like I said, this model here you can't go wrong she can wear pretty much any shade she wants to it just all depends on her outfit and what she's actually planning on wearing for the night or the day and look at whirlwind that's even prettier as well so let's let's say she decided she wanted to go with whirlwind so we're going to click right here add to shopping bag so it's already added to the shopping bag okay and let's say for instance she decided she wanted to buy another color and she decided to go with violet night so we're going to click on add to bag so that is that's two color shades that she purchased right there so let's go back to shop again go back to makeup and let's find her a blush we definitely have to add a blush we've got the eyes we've got the lips uh, we've got the glimmer sticks and we got to make sure we add the foundation and let's see let's find the blush and another add-on or another upsell you want to add a lip balm to their orders as well because of course a lot of people have chap lips especially in the winter time so make sure you add a 99 cent lip balm to the order as an upsell okay and ask her just say can i add a lip balm so that you can have a con uh, lip conditioner as well and most of the time she'll always say yeah sure please go ahead and add that okay let's find the foundation i mean the blush now um one of my favorite blush powder blush is the fmg glimmer powder blush i'm wearing it now as a matter of fact the color the shade that i'm wearing i believe is called russet I absolutely love this blush. It, it looks so natural and so pretty on it. So let's try it on and let's see exactly what it's going to look like. Okay, let's choose a different model this time and let's go with this young lady here. Okay, so we have three shades to choose from and let's choose this shade here. I don't, let's see what color this is. This is Pink Passion. So you can see that gave her, that really brightened her face up. So Pink Passion really looks good on her. Let's try another shade. This is Petal Pink. Petal Pink gave her more of a defined look. So... I think that's just as pretty as the first shade here. The pink passion looks a little washed out, but 
the petal paint really highlights her cheekbones even more. And let's try this one. This one's Cranberry Crush. That's even prettier as well. Okay, so there you go. So let's go ahead and add the Cranberry Crush to the order. There we go. All right, so we have the blush. Now let's go back and let's find the mascara. We got to add mascara to the order. Okay, now when it comes to mascara, it depends on if the customer is looking for lengthening if she wants something to lengthen her her lashes or if she wants something more volumizing to give her more volume if she has very very thin lashes and she wants to create more volume of, of you know more volume to her look um i personally sell a lot of the true color um love at first lash mascara and one of the reasons why I think that I do is because it is a more um, vegan product, okay? Um, and you can see here that it has vitamins A, C, and E, and it conditions the lashes. As a matter of fact, this is one of my favorite ones as well. And it also has olive oil and lycopene, which, which helps to strengthen the lashes. It's also smudge-free, and it's clump-free, and it won't flake off. It's paraben-free, sulfate-free, and talc-free. So if you have those customers who is very concerned about parabens um, and sulfates, and they're looking for more vegan mascara this is the product that you want to recommend to her okay so we're going to add that one to the bag and we're going to go back and look at some of the other um some of the other mascaras that we have as well let's move down to uh let's see here and then also we have the waterproof mascara in that one as well the one that um I chose for her is not waterproof. So if she prefers a waterproof, if she's the type of person who cries a lot, then you definitely want to put her on the, the waterproof. Then we have the Cashmere Ultimate Volumizing Mascara. So for someone who is looking for a little bit more volume in their lashes, then this one would be um, the one that you would you would recommend okay this one is long wearing it leaves lashes feeling soft it won't budge or smudge and it removes easily and it's vegan it's vegan and it's cruelty free so again if you have those customers who's really into um you know uh putting you know uh less chemicals on their skin and on especially on the eye area then this is another one here that is a vegan product okay so if she wanted to add that one just click on add to bag and it'll automatically add it there so I think we have everything that we needed we've got the foundation the only other thing you probably want to add would be the powder foundation Okay, so this is the Cashmere Complexion Compact Powder Foundation. So let's see what, what we're going to choose here. Um, another thing I wanted to mention as well, some customers prefer like a creamy blush. I know we chose the blush earlier, but it was in a powder form. But we also have a creamier blush for those people who have extremely dry skin who prefer to have a creamy blush. So always ask the customer, what is her skin type? If she's more dry, then you want to recommend a creamy, uh, a cream blush for her. Okay, so let's go to this model right here and let's find a foundation, uh, a powder for her. Okay, so let's see um, if we can find this is as a matter of fact this is a powder foundation so you're going to get this is like a two-in-one product so keep that in mind when a customer is actually looking for a two-in-one she doesn't want to buy the liquid and she only wants the foundation and the powder combined in one this is the product that you would recommend to her okay so let's find a shade to match her skin tone so let's choose this one first here and let's see what happens 
happens. That lightened her, her face. So I don't think that is, let's go back to no color. So this is her natural skin tone here. So if we chose this one, you can see how that altered her look just a little bit. Let's go back to the original color here. Okay, so let's try this one. That one sort of lightened her face as well. Uh, it brightened it up. That one looks a little washed out, so I know that one won't work. Um, let me go back to her natural skin tone. I think she needs something with a little bit more color. That one has a little bit too much color. That looks more of her shade. So this color for her would be the W150. Um, W150. That is more closest to her, her skin tone. Let's go back here. That one looks like it's changed it a little bit more. Let's go back to her original shade here. Let's go to this one. That's too light. That's too light. That's too light. That's too light. That one is too light. That one is too light. So this one is the closest foundation to her skin tone. So again, her shade would be W150. So if she wanted to purchase that one, just click add to bag. Okay, so we have completed everything for your customer. Now let's go up here to the shopping bag and let's view this bag. Um, there are going to be some products that we'll need to take off because I realized that I added a little bit too much. So let's delete this one here because I think that one was the one that I personally had chosen for myself. Okay, so let's look at how much this customer would actually spend. So let's say, for instance, when she looks at it, she said, oh, I don't want to I don't want to spend that much. You definitely want to try to keep this order at a $60 order minimum so that she can get free shipping. So just make sure you remind her. Just say, that's okay. As long as you have a minimum $60 order, you'll still get free shipping. Okay. So let's take this one here off, the gel eyeshadow. Let's take that one off. And I see here that the lipstick is actually on sale. The lipstick was $4.25. So she's basically getting this lipstick for half price. So she can purchase two colors, two shades of that one. So she got, let's see what she has here. She's got the compact powder foundation for $30. She's got the mascara for $12.99. She's got the blush for $9.99. She has two uh, lipstick shades. So she ended up spending $8.50 for two shades. She normally would have spent that for one shade. Okay. Then we have the eyeshadow which is on sale for six dollars then we have the liquid foundation so let's say for instance she decided that she didn't want to rem she didn't want to purchase the foundation okay that would only deduct twenty four dollars and fifty cent from her actual total her actual total comes to ninety nine dollars and twenty eight cents so even if we took off the foundation let's see what the total would be let's see ninety nine 98 subtract $24.50. She will still be at a $75 order. So just think about this. If you booked at least three to four color consultations with your customers, you could easily reach your goals and reach President's Club with no problem whatsoever. Because if your average customer order, if you even if you did, you made three sales per week, $75 times three, that's $225 in personal sales per week. And when you multiply that by two, that gives you $450 in sales every campaign. So if you consistently used this strategy, the color makeover um, strategy that will give you a total of about four hundred and fifty dollars in sales every campaign and you can easily reach president's club and when you reach president's club of course that's going to give you guaranteed commission of 40 percent commission once you reach that once you reach that level 
okay so that's one of the reasons why you really want to push your sales business really hard so that you can get in president's club and get the guaranteed commission of 40 percent commission and then also earn 25 percent commission on the fixed earnings products okay all right so that is going to conclude everything that I wanted to share with you in this video. And if you found value in this video, please be sure to give me a like because that helps my numbers. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please remember to um, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload new uh, content. Okay. All right. So until the next time you take care, take charge, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.